Hello everyone, my name is Angelica Chuquan, and today I wanna to share with you three tips from Microsoft that I found really helpful in making my reports more user-friendly. You might have encountered this within your organization. You've built out a report, you've gone through the process of cleaning up the data, modeling it, you've built out complex DAX measures, you've included some really neat interactive features in your Power BI reports, but you still have some users that are struggling or aren't using the report till its full potential. Maybe they just need a little bit of help and you aren't always available to demo that report. You can build in that assistance to help your users better understand how to use the report. The three things that Microsoft recommends adding to your Power BI reports is one, an information page. I saw that up here with this overview page where I've inserted a text box with a little bit of a description into the purpose of the report, what data the report's connected into, and even how to use the buttons on one of the pages to better understand how to navigate and use the report. Let's head over to that sales page. Here on the sales page, I have our second item that Microsoft recommends that you incorporate into your reports to make them easier to navigate, and that is a button with an overlay. So here I've inserted the help button and we'll take a look at how to set this up. But in Power BI, when you need to interact with a button in the desktop, you do hold control down to click that help button. And here's that button overlay where it has a pop-up showing us, you know, what are these hidden features that I've incorporated? Those interactive features that I want my users to select and use in the report so that the report reaches its full potential and that they can get the most out of this report and extract value from this report. I even set it up here with that X to be a close button. And finally, enabling the visual header tooltip icon. This here allows you to add a little help button to the top of any visual and provide a text box instruction to help users better understand how to navigate your report. So this is the completed version. I'll include this in the description as well as this start file that we can build out with and you can download and follow along with me during this video. All right, so the first thing we can take a look at doing is going over to the overview page and you can insert just a standard text box and then you can input whatever information you find is helpful here to your users. Since I already have a set of text that I pre-wrote for us here, I'll just go ahead and paste that in. Then I'll resize it here for my users. And boom, now we have a little bit of information to help explain how this report should be used and some of the information available on the next page. Now, one thing I might do if this line here is something I really wanna call their attention to, I might figure out other ways to draw attention to it like bolding or italicizing it, maybe making it in a different font color to bring attention to it as well. Let's head over to our sales page. So here on the sales page, we can go through the process of starting to add in that button overlay. This next portion is going to incorporate a few different Power BI tips and best practices. One is going to be to insert a button and to leverage the use of bookmarks to help enable this open and help page. The thing you have to remember with bookmarks is you wanna get the state of your page set up first before you actually go in and tie it to an object or an, a button like we are going to use. So I'm gonna select the insert tab here and we will first select our shape. So let's go ahead and insert a rectangle here. And I'm gonna make this rectangle take up the entire page because I want it to be an overlay. Now the thing with the shape is I do want the fill of this to be a little transparent. So I'm gonna go with, let's do about maybe even like 75% transparency somewhere around there. Now let's go ahead and add in the other objects. Well, one of the first things that I wanna do is I wanna go into the button section and I'm gonna grab the help button. Now I'm gonna drag the help button down to the location that I wanted in my report. I might resize it even and then uh, reconfigure it, but I'm gonna put that help button down there in the bottom left. You could add yours at the top right, the bottom right, but I'm saving some space up here on the top right for a uh, X button or an icon that's actually gonna act as a button once we have it configured. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go up into these shapes and I'm gonna use this little call out box here. So this little call out box or speech bubble, we can go in and change the fill color of this as well. And I'll change that to white so it stands out and it has that good contrast that Microsoft recommends. And I'm actually going to then rotate this 180 degrees. So it's pointing up here as the object I want it to correspond to. And I'm gonna try to size this 
for all of my boxes, the call out boxes. So you'll see as I'm going to reuse this over and over. So now that we have this call out box here, I'm going to go ahead and insert a text box. And for this, I'm going to say click here, click to navigate between pages. And then uh, we can kind of resize this and that should help with the text wrap. And then I can insert this inside of the call out box. And so we might need to resize the call out box a little bit here. And there we go. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up my view tab and open up my selection pane. What this does is it's gonna make it easier here for us to go in and group some of these objects so that it's easier for us to work with. So I'm again gonna make that text box the size of the shape. I'm gonna highlight both of these. I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna select group. Now that I've grouped this, I'm gonna rename it just so it's easy for me to understand. And I'm gonna call this page call out since it's a call out box, perfect. Now I'm gonna add a few more of these. And since I have grouped this, now I can copy, select this item, do a control C and control V. And now I can move around and just have to grab it. And then I can rewrite the text in here. And so I can say select date range. There we go. And I will want to make sure that I rename this too. So I'm going to call this my date call out. And then let's do one more because I do have a tool tip down here. If you notice when you hover over this one. So again, since that's selected, I'm going to do a control C, control V. And then I'm going to move this one down. And I will rewrite the text here to say hover over year to see monthly sales breakdown. And then let's also rename that. So uh, tooltip call out. So then everything is specific and you know what it is. I'm going to add in one more thing to this. And this is going to be what's going to serve as our close all to kind of get us to clear everything off of this page. Now I'm using a free icon that I will include in the description as well. And this is going to be from Flat Icon. You can come in here and you can download a free option here of this X icon. I've already got this downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that in here now to this report. All right, now let's go ahead and add in that X image here now. So I want to make sure I don't have anything selected when I add it in or else it's going to add it into the group. Go ahead and click that Insert tab, click Image, and then we'll go over to our downloads and find that X icon that we downloaded. So now I'm going to resize this and then I'm going to pop it up right here towards the right hand side where users are probably used to seeing a closed box. Now, the first thing we're going to do is set up our first bookmark, our open help page. So I'm going to click the view tab and I'm going to enable the bookmarks pane. Before we do that, what I really like to do is I like to group everything that's going to be with that bookmark. So it makes it super easy to hide all at once. So I'm going to select the image and then I'm going to hold control and hold to select tooltip call out, date call out, page call out. The button can stay, but the shape I will want to also be with this group. So now that I have all those items selected, I'm going to right click and select group and call this my open help page. Now let's go ahead and add in our bookmark and I'll call this open help page. Now, let's go ahead and do the next part of this, which will be to add a second bookmark, which is going to be closing the help page. So I'm going to hide everything in that group, that open help page group. Notice everything is gone. Beautiful. Go ahead and click to add a new bookmark, rename that bookmark, close help page. Now, the key to this, we can test these bookmarks here to make sure they work. And it looks like I need to update this open help page. So I'm going to unhide everything, and now I'm going to click and update that open help page. So make sure that when you're adding those bookmarks and you get them configured, that you do that. But if, if you accidentally set it up incorrectly like I did where it was hidden, you can update it. But we'll just double check that our bookmarks are working correctly. And I clicked close and everything's gone, open, and there we go. So now the next part is linking these to those objects. Well, I want when I click this X, to have the entire thing hidden. So I want to go over to my image and I want the action for this to be toggled on and I want it to be tied to the close help page. And now my button over here in the bottom left, I want that action to be toggled on as well. And I want to tie that to the open help page. Now 
testing out your buttons, holding control, click the X, closes it, holds the control key, click your button, and there we go. So remember, in the Power BI desktop, you have to hold control when using buttons. In the Power BI service, you will not. All right, let's take a look at the final thing I wanna show you, which is the visual header icon, the help button. So on this visual, it's hard to see at first, but when we hover over a data point, we can actually drill through by right-clicking, selecting drill through and drilling into a more detailed version, showing us the sales orders tied to that country. You can click that back button, just like a typical drill through page would work. Now, some of my users don't understand or remember that they have to right-click, and so I want them to have that obvious reminder. So there's a couple of things you can do, but one of the things is we can leverage these icons and we can include what's known as a help button here, a help button in the icon, the header section. So of your sales by country visual, with that visual selected, go over to your visualizations pane and into the general section of your formatting visual options. Expand the header icons and down in the icon section, you'll see help tool tip. Enable this one and then a new box appears. And you can enter helpful information in here like right click on data points to drill through to details page. And so then with that enabled, let's go ahead and I'm going to minimize some of these panes here. We go over now and notice when we hover over that icon, we have that icon there and it lets them know, oh, okay, we need to drill through. Now they've got it. And now you have a more detailed report page. So three things we set up here in this video to help your users with their Power BI reports and how to make your reports more user-friendly. I'd love to hear from you all. Are you already using any of these options? Or what was your favorite option that you saw in this video? As always, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.